SP Hiring Product Demonstration. This video contains a demonstration of the SP Hiring Workplace Application option in SP HR Suite. SP Hiring covers the process of hiring new employees. It includes the requisition process, capturing applicants and reviewing and selecting applicants, and the candidate selection process for hire, including interviews, feedback, verification process tasks, and the hire. It is set up in three different portals. The HR staff portal is where much of the work is done and information captured. The manager portal is where managers can come in, submit requisitions, get approvals, and review different applicants for their requisitions, as well as search applicant databases. Finally, the employee portal is where they can actually come in, see what jobs are posted, and enter referrals. Let's take a look now at the demonstration of the product. On the staff side of the hiring process, the HR staff are able to see all the open requisitions as well as announcements and guides. They're able to add new requisitions and see all the different requisitions by their status so they can see if there are any that are still awaiting any approval. It is from here that you have a central list for all applicants information to be received you're able to view it by the different requisitions themselves, such as the IT support rep or the new HR manager, all in one area. It is from here you can actually go into the individual applicant, see that the information that they have provided, be it via an email, a web form, or even an external recruitment process. See that information in one area, and importantly, to be able to see their resume within here as well. It is then you're able to decide whether they are worthy to actually be selected as a candidate, for them to be rejected and have it sent out an email to say you have been unsuccessful at this time. You can also put applicants into another field for future consideration as well if they want to be considered for other positions. Once an applicant has been selected, then they, their information is transferred into the candidates area. But there is also a library where all resumes are kept. You're able to see which position they have applied for, who the applicant was, even if they have become a candidate as well. Once they are selected as a candidate, you have them in the one area. From here, you're able to set up interviews, be it for an over-the-phone interview or an in-person interview. You've got an area to leave notes, to see all the feedback that has been given by the interviewers themselves, as well as their recommendation, to set up new interviews on the schedule. When you set up an interview, it's just quite simple. Put in the name, the date, the time, the location, as well as who the different interviewers are. Once this is saved, then those interviewers will be able to see on their employee or manager portals. They'll also receive an email to let them know that they have been set up for an interview. And of course, within here, you can even see the resume of that candidate. 
when a candidate is approved and goes through to be hired, it is simply a case of change their status to hired and it will pass them on to the onboarding application if you have that as well. Also from the staff portal you've got the complete interviews calendar to see when interviews are being conducted and even to see the feedback of all candidates in one area. The first of the HR applications is the hiring application. It is from here that the complete hiring process is maintained and managed. First off, employees are able to see any open requisitions that are available from the organisation. They are also able to access hiring documents, even hiring policies. They're able to see if they have been scheduled for any interviews for potential new hires. And it is also from here that they're able to submit that feedback on that interview as well in one area. Also, employees can see things like hiring announcements and how-to guides from here. Next is the manager's portal of the hiring application. This is where managers are able to put in new requests for new positions that might be required within the organisation. Once this form is completed and saved, it then kicks off the approval process required for that position. Also, managers are able to see their own requisitions in one area. They're able to see the applicants that have been received for the different positions that they have made available as well. They're able to see resumes that have been submitted from those applicants in one area. Also, managers are able to view their candidates, see when they have been scheduled for interviews, to be able to leave feedback, and again we've got hiring documents and policies. Also from here, they're able to see the open requisitions, the requisitions that are awaiting their approval in one area. They're able to view potential applicants and see when they have been scheduled for interviews as well. Thank you for taking the time to review our demonstration. Learn more about SP Hiring or other SP Marketplace products at spmarketplace.com.